Hello, this is Matthew Miller from the ZDNet Smartphones and Cell Phones blog. So this box in front of me you can see, maybe, this is the Nokia Lumia 900, the first LTE Windows Phone device in the U.S., and uh, the second Nokia Windows Phone, I guess. The first one was the 710 on T-Mobile. But this is really more of a flagship device. Uh, it has, uh, this is the Nokia N9 that I have, it has a similar design with the carbon carbonate body and um, the kind of the, the glass curved glass on the on the front um, you know that same kind of nice form factor but a, a bit larger this is a 4.3 inch display device and as I said it's AT&T LTE has an 8 megapixel Carl Zeiss optics lens um, and just overall a very nice piece of hardware and amazingly you could get it for a penny on Amazon uh, pre-order for opening weekend uh, it has an AMOLED display, as you can see right here. It's quite bright. And if I bring it up, it looks fantastic. I mean, this is uh, this is probably one of the best pieces of uh, Windows Phone hardware. I'm a big Windows Phone fan myself. Uh, I actually thought about buying this one and almost did. I actually did for a second, and then then uh, canceled that order for the Samsung Galaxy Note. However, this is a fantastic Windows Phone. I'm kind of holding out, I guess, for for more Windows Phones as well. But uh, you know, it has a front-facing camera which the Lumia 710 did not. Um, as I said, a megapixel Carl Zeiss optic lens on the back. It has this nice curved polycarbonate carbonate body. Always the um, Windows Phone dedicated camera button. Then we have the power button and then the volume button. So there's nothing on the left side. The bottom has a speaker. The top has um, the micro SD, card micro SD card slot, the micro USB charging port, and then the three and a half millimeter headset jack, which as you can see with the thinness, it barely even fits in there. Um, so this is Windows Phone, of course, and it's Windows Phone. I mean, it's not, not anything too crazy. It's a, it's a 4.3 inch Windows Phone device. Comes with, as you can see, with lots of AT&T stuff, but you can uh, uninstall that as well. That's up to you. Uh, it does have, you know, things like the ESPN Nokia app. And then down here we go farther. There's Nokia Drive, Nokia Maps, and Nokia Transit. And uh, the Nokia Drive is the turn-by-turn -turn voice navigation that is provided by Nokia and a kind of a special deal on Windows Phone. And then uh, I have some of my own apps on there, of course. Tango for video calls or Skype for video calls as well. YP Mobile is an AT&T application. Um, and then other than that, it's a Windows Phone device. Not much different than the other Windows Phone device, primarily the hardware and the LTE speeds are what makes it attractive. One thing that's nice, you can see here, it does have internet sharing. Um, AT&T, I believe, charges extra for that unless you unless you buy, I think, their 5 gig plan. I think you can use it uh, included then. And uh, no special settings like some of the HTC stuff they have on there. And then, of course, uh, some of the settings for the applications itself. As you can see, all Windows phones are fast. This one is just as fast. I have my live tile set up. Things are switching around. i got some email. i got some... Rowy uh, Twitter going on. I have to play some of my Alpha Jacks, and uh, overall just a good device. Now here's the camera. Can't show you, won't show you too much uh, at this range, of course. Um, then there's some, you know, all the basic Windows Phone. It doesn't have things like uh, some of the HTC devices have some advanced features such as uh, panoramic mode and things and burst mode and things. This is a very basic software, and I don't know if we'll see uh, Nokia advance that software. Um, in the future or not. So, very nice phone on AT&T. The full price is only $99.99, but you can uh, shop around if you're a new customer and find it for a uh, penny, $49.99, things like that. So, but if you're thinking about a Windows phone, and I think this one is going to uh, bring quite a few people to the platform at that $99 price and even less, um, I understand AT&T and Nokia are putting some big money behind the marketing of it. Thanks for watching.